Hello everyone. Today in this session, I will be showing you how you can create your own jump game in Scratch. Yes, a jump game and you can create your own version of it. Maybe a unicorn jumping over the rock or a chick jumping over the axe or maybe a T-Rex jumping over the cactus. Yes, your own version of Google T-Rex game. So we are going to do implement it in, a, in very simple four or five steps. Like first step is going to be, we are going to make your character jump, move the obstacle, score, game over, and then we can create even more obstacles. It's going to be very simple and a lot of fun. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Create a new project in Scratch. Pick your character and the background. So here I have chosen a chick and the backdrop. Uh, position the chick wherever you feel that it should be the right position. So yes, I put it on the ground. Now the step one is to make it jump. This is our x-axis and this is our y-axis in a sprite. And if we want my, is my character to jump, it means the character should actually move a little forward in y direction and then come down. So what we are going to do, we are going to do the same thing. We will say change y by 10. Okay. So see, if you say change y by 10, the chick is going up. But we will have to make sure that it comes down as well. Then the command is going to be change y by minus 10. So the amount it moved up, the amount it needs to move down as well. So when you say change uh, y by minus 10, it is coming down. So fine. We will have to use both these command multiple times. So I'm going to pick a repeat loop. So one repeat here and one repeat here. Okay, so let me run this entire block and see what happens. So, wow, my chick is actually jumping in Y direction. But when we want this chick to jump, we want this chick to jump when a space key is pressed. So when a space key is pressed, it means an event. Go to event and take this when a space key pressed event. Let me test if it is working. Yes, it's working. My chick is actually jumping up up direction. So my step one is done. What is my step two? Step two, I'm going to create an obstacle and then this obstacle is going to move. So I'm going to pick up the obstacle as sprite, which in my case is going to be an egg. You should choose uh, the sprite according to your imagination and I'm going to place it at the initial position. I am also going to resize it to maybe a, maybe 50. Let's see if how does this 50 looks like. A 50 is nice. And I'm going to position it to initial uh, position. So initial position is 194 and 144. So what we will have to do initially when my game is starting, my X position should be 194 minus 141. And it should glide to probably, let me glide it to, it should glide to this position and then come back. So gliding position is minus 232 and 141. Uh, so I'm going to pick this. Command glide one second to minus 232 and minus 144, 141, sorry. And this we want to happen forever. Okay, so let's see what happens if I'm running this command. So see, this is gliding from one position to another position and it keeps on happening. But if you think that this is actually gliding too fast, you can increase the time from one second to three seconds. So now this is gliding from one position to another position within three seconds. And if it's too slow, you can change it to two. Uh, just adjust it according to your uh, uh your imagination or your sort of comfort level. And when we want to do this, we want to do this when green flag is clicked. Okay, so we have coded for this chick and we have also coded for this egg and uh, chick is able to jump. My step one is done. My step two is also done. See how simple it was. Next, we want to see, uh, next we will work on the game over. So what does it mean? It means when my chick is actually touching the egg, the game should get over. So for this, um, again, on this egg is sprite, when this is clicked, wait until, wait until this chick is touching the egg. So for this, we will go to sensing and we are going to take this block or this condition touching mouse pointer. Whenever you have this little drop down, it means uh, there are more options. So you should always click on it and explore. So wait until this egg is touching the chick. So this command is going to wait until the chick is touching the egg. What next? As soon as the chick is touching the egg, we want to stop the game. So again, we will go to control and we will take this command, stop all. Okay. So you can see when this is touching, it will stop everything. So let me reset and show it to you. It stops. My egg is stopped and my game is also stops. So one thing which I'm noticing is, 
when the egg is touching the chick it it was already a little bit up so when and when the game is starting we will have to reset this position so i will go to chick and what is the initial position of chick this is the initial position of chick we will reset the position so whenever the game is starting we want to reset the initial position of the chick so this is going to be my initial position of the chick so this way we are able to fix this Yes, so the chick is always coming back to the original position whenever we click on this green button. Yes, fine. And as soon as the chick is touching the app, my game stops. Uh, but when the game is stopping, we also want to put a game over message. So for this game over message, currently this is this egg sprite is the only sprite which knows that the game has been stopped. So it is going to broadcast a message. It is going to broadcast a message that the game is over. So as soon as it touches the egg, it is going to broadcast a message, a new message, which I'm going to say game over. Okay. And when the game is over, we also want a new sprite. That new sprite, we are going to create ourselves. So draw a new sprite yourself. I'm going to draw it. And uh, da, 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 um, yes, it is pretty, pretty easy here in um, Scratch to draw your own sprite. I'm going to pick up this tool, text, and I'm going to type here game over. game over let's pick up a beautiful font whatever you like and resize it so yes we have a game over a sprite in front of us uh, so let's code for this game over when this flag is clicked we don't want this game over to be shown so let's make it hidden initially we want this game over message to be hidden and when this egg is broadcasting the message that game over this needs to be listened by this game over sprite. We will go to events and when I receive this game over sprite, what do we want? We want this to be visible, simple. We want this to be visible because it knows that the game has been over now. So let's show it. Okay. So let's give it a test if it is working or not. So initially it is hidden and yes, as soon as it is touching the, uh, the chick is touching that, the game is over. Very nice. But now the next step is a score. We need to work on the score. For a score, we are going to make it in a way that the longer player is going to able to play, means uh, longer the game is not over, the, uh, the points will keep on adding. So when this is clicked, we are first going to take a variable. So go to variable, make a new variable. I am naming it as score and initialize it to zero. So set my variable value to zero. Initially, my variable is a score. Now we are going to add up a logic that if, you know, every one second, every one second, the value of a score should keep on increasing by one. You can make it, you know, maybe half, every half a second, increase it by one or absolutely your wish. So I'm going to go to control, take this forever loop. Inside forever, I'm going to take this wait, wait one second. And after one second, again, go to variables and change score by one. So after every one second, the score will keep on changing by one. So let's run it and see. So this is basically a time bound game. The more the player is able to get, play it and avoiding the collision with the ag, it will keep on adding the score. So great. As soon as it touches, the game is over and the score also is not moving now. Um, now to make it more interesting, you can make multiple obstacles. To make multiple ob obstacles, click click on this egg sprite, click on duplicate and you can make a duplicate sprite. So if you run it, see what will happen. Uh, you are still seeing only one sprite. Why so? It is actually there are two sprites, but they are on top of each other. So let's do some trick to this second egg. First, we are going to make it wait for, say, for example, one second or 1.5 second, and then it will start scrolling. Before that, we want to make it hidden. So we will go to uh, looks and we are going to make it hidden. So hide, and after 1.5 second only, it will be visible and it will start gliding down. So let's test it. In Yes, I have multiple. Uh, the, now it makes it more interesting. You can change it, maybe wait for two seconds or uh, any combination, which seems good to you. I think 1.5 was better. 
So I'm going to make it 1.5 seconds. And this is the complete jump game where I have used a chick and a and an egg. Hope you enjoyed this game. To create your own version and show me in comments what was the version that you created. Don't forget to share it with me. See you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.